Man oh man, we have been busy. Sorry, I just had to capture that. She's having too much fun. It's a busy week. We're leading up to the big unit move um, at the end of this month. I've received the lease, so I'm going through that at the minute. We've actually made it nice and tidy in here for the move. So we've been working our ass off, asses off all week. Charlotte's dancing behind me with her headphones on, thinking she's cool. Um, but yeah, that's why the lack of videos at the minute. We've just been absolutely going hell for leather. So a bit of an update video, bit of a catch up and um, yeah, hope you enjoy. So if you are new to the channel, we sell on eBay and we sell on whatnot. That's where we sell. We're looking to sell on Vinted Pro, which hopefully will be coming out soon. I don't know if you know, but Vinted, you're not actually technically allowed to sell as a business. So everyone technically doesn't sell on Vinted. However, Vinted Pro is coming very soon, I think. It's already out in France, been out for ages. And um, yeah, that'll be another string to our bow. However, this is how the unit's looking. Floor space everywhere. Floor space everywhere, everywhere. So we're excited. We've cleaned up. Yeah, we've just been absolutely on the hunt. We've got a big Christmas stockpile going on under there. And down here, we've been packing away stuff so we can actually manoeuvre around, which is good. We've been in here for about five months, I want to say. About five, six months. So yeah, it's been a crazy whirlwind. We've got a couple of weeks left. So we're pretty much in the position to move now. However, I'm going to show you all kinds of stuff that's been coming in. So... We've got loads and loads and loads of new makeup that just arrived today. So that'd be for Charlotte's makeup streams, which is every Tuesday. I recently made a shock decision. It's not a shock, probably not to you guys. And that decision was, I got the mic down here, I didn't want it to rub against my neck. That decision was, I have recalled everything from my Amazon store. I'm going to close it down just because I do not have time to source and send all the boxes in for Amazon. And I know there is services where people do it for you, but honestly, it burns my head. YouTube, eBay, whatnot, and everything else it takes way, way, way too much time already. Where this has just been sat there. The majority of the stuff that I sent up there sold. I think I had 37 items up there. So I sold a couple of these, a couple of them have come back. We've got a couple Funko Pops from the big Funko Pop haul. I think about three or four Pops didn't sell. I sent about 50 of them up, so not too shabby at all and a bit of a throwback to last year when we picked up these smurfs um we did really really well with this pickup these two were sat on amazon and unfortunately didn't sell i wasn't really tinkering with the prices too much so obviously that plays a factor but for the majority of it i made a couple grand on amazon um i just don't have the time to uphold it needs it needs the time and dedication which i'm too busy to do that because I'm putting the time and dedication into eBay and into whatnot and into building and growing this business. So yeah, this is all come back. It'll be going on my eBay store. So it's still going to get sold and we're going to close down the Amazon account. Don't know about you guys. If you tried Amazon, did it go well? Let me know down below. And if you are still doing it and smashing it, let me know down below as well. So I'm just going sneak mode. Charlotte is currently doing some photographs over here. She's been photographing all these little bits and pieces to go on the eBay store. We actually are going to the Resale Summit tomorrow. So yeah, yeah, we're getting the train tomorrow. The Summit's on Saturday, it's Thursday now, currently. So we wanted a, a good old backlog of photos to list on the train, really, and uh, get some listings on the eBay. This video should be out before the Summit. So if you're going to the Summit and you're watching this video, I will see you there. Hopefully I might film there, get some content, just speak to people, interview people, just capture loads on video and put a big, out, big old Resale Summit video up. that'd be cool but yeah if you're going i'll see you there if you're not i'll see you soon one day in terms of the clothes and stuff still got plenty i wanted to show you this coat that i picked up the other day from the charity shop let me get it out i dropped a hanger let me show you this so this is just a bit of a ramble video but you're gonna learn a lot as well you can hang it up all right can you get it in there there we go so this is it's the wrong coat <laughs> it's the wrong coat there's the right coat very similar very similar, but not the same. Not the same by any stretch. Right, let's get that on top of there. Let's get it in. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, beautiful coat. Beautiful coat. 
paid a fiver for it. Didn't really know what I was, I just picked it up because it, it looked quality. Didn't search it up in the shop. Really, really nice coat. It is by Chrysalis. Chrysalis. Country Clothes, Northampton shirt, made in England. It is the chill term coat. There is sold of this coat on eBay at two fifty. Um, it's beautiful, and this one is in very nice condition. So I think I've got it up for two nine nine ninety nine, and it's um, it's got a fair few watches on it. So yeah, really really nice. Definitely one to look out for this brand. Another one recently from the charity shop. Charlotte is just going through them now. These are the same brand. It's the hat and the fascinator. So this is made by Snoxell and Gwytha, or Gwytha, British millinery. I think that's right. Anyway, it's a show-stopping hat. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. Anyway, that and the fascinator by the same company. The soles of hats by this company, well over £100. So definitely worth, worth picking up a lot of wedding hats, to be fair. But... In particular, that brand right there. Remember it. Another very valuable pickup that we've had is this set of scales here, which I'm very excited for. You can see it here. Better turn it on. It's behind there somewhere. There you go. There you go. This goes up to 500 kilos, and we got it in the charity shop again for 20 pounds. There's actually a sold of the same one on eBay for. 75 i believe yeah 75 so chuff for that this is what i always use here literally years and years out of that it's really good from amazon that one will be for like big old parcels when they're on the floor it makes it a lot easier than having it on a table or even putting this on the floor you, you never be able to see the weight and stuff so you can actually get brand new ones of them like third party ones for like 30 quid stacy's picked up one recently definitely recommend them because Heavy duty, you know, 500 kilos, and they cost pretty much what they cost, or maybe a touch more, but worth the investment. I'm excited to get get some use out of that. But this back area now is pretty much a whatnot stock room. So this is all bits of random pieces that we've been selling and whatnot. So we've got some cool bags, some car boot bags, water fly. These tote bags are really nice. Lots of cardigans. These are the, the full length, like Haley Menzies style cardigans, which have been going well by CGYY. Really, really happy with how they've been going on. These candles are cool. Check these out. Cotton wick, hand poured, soy wax. Really premium candle. Let me get it out. Da, 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 da. Perfect. And then have a look on the actual candle. I can get it open. Super premium, smells so good. We've been well enjoying sprinkling in all this brand new stuff as well as all the pre love clothes as well and knickknacks that we do. So you see Charlotte, she's doing pictures for the hat. So these Alpine Swiss bathrobes, I absolutely love mine. I think the retail price on them is $95. And bit, we've been getting like 12, 15 quid on whatnot, but we've had loads that we can just shift them quick. Really, really quality packs 100% cotton they are mint they are mint so if you're missing out on any of this stuff give me a message give me a message or get yourselves on whatnot we are actually doing a show at the summit which is cool um they've got the lineup i'll tell sam mediator shout out to you he's got his own channel as well so sam put your own channel here put your channel here go and check it out and then put the the whatnot line up here uh we're on at one o'clock i think so yeah this is out before then it will be Check us out Saturday, 1 o'clock. Be live from the summit. I'll get some other resellers on and we can ask them the grueling questions. So, if you do want me to get on, let me know. So, bloody soft. So, while Charlotte's over there, I'm just going to come over here and see what's currently been photographed, ready to go on eBay. These are some of the Funko Pops that were over in Amazon. That jigsaw, too. We've got a few random bits, random books. I think that Adventure Time book there is about 40 quid online. Look out for that one. Some cool little graphic novels, figures. That's the fun stuff. This is what I like selling. So this morning we packed about 100 items from last night's show. We had a pallet of stock arrive at the unit. So I've unpacked that. So we had a busy day already. Um, and then we're just getting some photos ready for the weekend. That's the main thing. And keep the business flowing. We're back on Monday anyway. It's not like we're missing 
any we're only missing Friday as a work day, so it's not that deep. And then when we're in the new unit, it'll be twenty four seven access, so we can come in on a Saturday, on a Sunday. We're gonna have it so it's a more chilled environment. So there'll be areas where it's it's massive, so the, the space for us to have the couch and a TV on the wall, so we can come away from work for a bit, and then get back to it when we feel like it, kind of thing. It'd be like our pad, our pad. Do, do people still call things pad? No, no, sure. No. Nah. Like, what would you call it? It's a hangout zone. Oh, chill zone. The chill zone. I sound like a boomer then. Yeah. Right, this sold yesterday and I had to show you. Um, Stanley Gibbons stamp catalogs. Definitely worth looking out for. This is the Japan and Korea version, fifth edition. I think it goes up to like seven editions. And it sold for $39.99. Definitely worth looking out for these. They're not huge, quite small books. Um, but yeah. Really good value in those. I got a few of them, so hopefully the other countries sell for just as just as much money. Some sell for less, some sell for a bit more. So really, really good ones to look out for on the car boots. Those were listed, or that one was listed for a couple of days. So it was a real, real quick turnaround on that. Also sold the West Brom shirt from the car boot video, if you remember, the only one um, from this season. We picked up the United shirt and the West Brom shirt for twelve pounds each, I think. We sold the United one for about 50, this one for 35, so some real, real good money on that. Um, yeah, kept my prices high and, um, you know, took less than a month to sell, so happy with that. Also, the cap washers have been flying out as well. So if you're interested in any of these, let me know, I've got loads of them. They've been selling really well on WhatNot, it's been selling really well on eBay. But basically what they are is, I won't find one actually, they... It's a cage, you put a cap inside, then you can put them in the washing machine or you can put them in the dishwasher. And they come out great. They come out great. So this is them here. On Amazon, they are listed for about £18 for the exact exact same set. You get two cages in one pack. So you can see your cap will just sit in there. And then the steam and the washing machine. To be fair, dishwasher seems to be the go-to. Honestly, they come out amazing so yeah if you're gonna be picking up caps on the car boot this year make sure you've got a pair of those and if you do want a pair let me know let me know drop me a message on instagram or follow, you know find me on whatnot or ebay to listen on ebay as well it's all linked down below and get yourself a pair okay so i am on zik analytics as you know i vouch for this it's really good i really enjoy using it and in the last installment you also told me off a lot of you guys are saying you're on the US calendar. There is a UK calendar, don't worry. So you've got World Book Day, uh, Mother's Day, etc., etc. Sorry for the confusion. I had the US calendar on. I seen it on the first comment, guys. And by the 10th comment, I knew the calendar was wrong. So today, I am going to be using the title builder feature, which basically helps me list on eBay. And you get the right keywords, and it tells you why the keywords are strong. So I'm going to be listing these baby toys, which we've been selling really well and whatnot, but I want to capitalize on eBay as well. So you can see they are a little rain toy for the bath. So I'm going to put in the bath toy. As you can see there, we're going to search it up and it's got eBay, UK, the last 30 days. So basically all the stuff that comes up is going to be applicable to what we need. Here we go. So you've got all the keywords. It tells you the average searches for each keyword. This is a long tail keyword. So you've got baby bath toy. There was 14 and a half thousand searches in the last 30 days. And that converted to 282 sales. And that is from just the, the first page of um, listings on eBay. And then on this side, you've got your generic keyword ideas. So you can go through here. Toddler, rubber, etc. But the further you go, the more niche words you'll see. Um, and then you can build the perfect title. So I'm going to build my title. So I'm obviously going to use Baby Bath Toy. So I've clicked that and it pops up here because um, it's got 14 and a half thousand searches. I'm also going to put in the word kids because that's what kids Baby Bath is. That's got 11 and a half thousand. Um, some of these may seem obvious, but you'd be, you'd be surprised. Some of my listings, I've gone through them. And clean them up because they are horrible it also suggested the word toddler which i probably wouldn't have put in there on the suggested here on page five we've got sensory which i think is really good because it is a sensory toy and i would definitely not have used that word 
the word floating had 1800 searches so i think floating as well would be good you're just basically creating a title that people are going to find no matter what they search because you've got so many strong strong keywords they are weather themed so i'm actually going to put the word weather which would be helpful isn't it? weather and then it actually does have the word themed here has just shot 5,000 searches and it equated in 72 sales. So I'm going to put weather themed. People like searching for the themed bath toys. Again, I would not know that without using Zik. And then I'm probably best putting in the word water, as you can see there, and then the word play. If we can fit it in there, we should be able to. So I'm going to put water, play, and then I'm going to put, I can type play, and then the word new. Bosh, that is perfection. That is definitely going to do the trick. Baby bath toys, kids, toddler, sensory floating, weather themed, water play, new. Perfect. That is going to do the business. Thank you, Zik. If you do want to get involved with Zik, you can join in the link down below. There is a $1 free trial. Well, it's not free, it's $1. And there's also a link for 50% off your first month and then 30% off for every month after that, which is great. So, yeah, check it out and let me know how you get on. These bath toys are adorable though. So you've got like a little rainbow, lightning, raindrop, and a little cloud as well. You put the water in the bottom, and then it sprinkles out the bottom. Uh, water in the top, you just sprinkles out the bottom. But yeah, everyone on Whatnot is loving these. Super, super cute. Makes me want to have a baby. She definitely heard that. You hear that? Yep. She's not interested. One thing that I'm glad we've done this year is stockpile for christmas we're only in march so there's the opportunity for you guys as well all this stuff under here which is actually a massive space is all christmas jumpers christmas decorations christmas outfits christmas ornaments christmas activities so much stuff so when it comes to like no Oct late october like november december it's going to be epic like roll it out all across ebay and vintage pro maybe and then Obviously, what not? We're going to have loads of Christmas themed shows. It's going to be sick. Well excited. And we actually just went and had a look in the unit, uh, well, the new office yesterday to have a look at the whatnot room. And I'd say the room that we're going to be in whatnot, we're going to do whatnot of is kind of like here, there, down there. So it's like a big old room. It's going to be great. Like neon lights, all that good stuff where we can film content from, not just for whatnot, but. For youtube as well which is super cool like this at the minute is like bare bones factory do you know what i mean wooden walls high ceilings which actually come in handy by the way our back room in the new office is about the size of this with the high ceilings and that's just the back room which is amazing um the new office is like all carpeted it's got showers kitchen it feels like a proper place to work do you know what i mean this is quite gritty and we've had we've we are gritty people aren't we? we've we've um we've smashed it for the last few months but the main thing about the unit obviously there's still space in here it's the 24 7 access that's what i'm excited for so we can come and go as we please and get it done it done not done so yeah enough speaking on it though we just need to be in there now so i'm not gonna say a word anymore until we're there not long a couple of weeks away and we'll be there and the content will be exciting getting all of this out of here in there and then being able to plan it out i'm sure you guys will give us lots of input as well so exciting times it's gonna be a lot of videos when that time comes um but until then we're just kind of in a bit of a limbo phase at the minute cracking on with the shows cracking on with the store charlotte's doing a limbo in the background um but yeah when april comes that's when the content will be there. But I appreciate you all for watching. I hope you're all doing good um, and sticking with us. The car boots, that's a big one as well. The car boots, like, I don't absolutely peeing it down outside today. But hopefully soon, hopefully this year we have a bit of a summer. So we get some videos made. Because not only do I love the car boot for the bargains, but we also get a great piece of content as well. It's like two in one. So we're excited for that. Hopefully, come April, when we're in the new unit, the car boots should be sunny. Fingers crossed. Not holding my breath. But um, yeah, there's going to be lots, lots to come. So we're just, yeah, we're just limboing at the minute. Lim limbo. So 
stick with us. And it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hell of a ride for the rest of the year. Also, big day for me today. We've received the samples for the merchandise. Um which I'm well excited. I've not even mentioned it on the video. Um on Instagram at by John Luke B Y J O N L U C. The samples are at home, I think now. I think they've been delivered. So I'm gonna go home and then the next video I will show you then. So it's exciting. But you'll see them on the Instagram as well. If you go on the Instagram, you guys see it. But I'm well excited to get those launched. High quality, super sick, and um yeah, it's been years in the making. I always want if I wanted to do some kind of merchandise, I always want it to be like the best quality. And value for value for money. So yeah, it's exciting. Anyway, loads of links down in the description, get yourself involved, leave a nice comment. Leave a like and I'll see you in the next one or at the summit.